Hey guys, welcome back to the game replay. I'm Dave the Usher, the game we're playing is Fantasy Star 4 for the Sega Genesis. Yeah. We're in this basement. Um, hmm. It seems wide open at the moment. Ooh, they're, they're pulsating. We got blobs and toadstools. Yeah. Hmm. I'm thinking there might be a boss down here. I like the boomerangs from Elise. It does damage to like all the. It does damage <clears throat> to all the Briz, which is nice. Oh man, Chaz, don't. Hey guys, welcome back to the game replay. I'm Dave the Usher. The game we're playing is Fantasy Star 4 for the Sega Genesis. Yeah. Okay, we're in this basement. <clears throat> and it's a big old room. Big old room. Okay. Very elaborate and descriptive. It's been procured. Like, all right. A, a pain potion. Plus or negative? Like, too much information there, pal. Or... Oh, well, isn't that nice? Oh, and speaking of nice, these things are not. Uh, I feel like there's gonna be a boss battle down here, you know? Um, hmm. Oh, man. And one of the criticisms I, I'll say again is, like, the abbreviations of some of these. Maybe it's just I'm not familiar with... That's probably it. Oh, my God. Han just got annihilated. Am I underleveled? <laughs> Grease, Grizz, gri Grizz, probably Grizz. Level six, so I don't think I'm under leveled. You know, uh, you know, you never know. I got all my antidotes. Remember in the last part I was talking about, you know, if I want more of these um, mono mates, I'm gonna have to go back, dude. Oh, I am poisoned. How did I not see that? Uh. Might run from some of these. <clears throat> What's interesting is you never have any trouble running from these battles sometimes, man. And RPGs. The game's like, eh, eh, I don't think so. But what is up with this game? And just like, all right, see you later, see you later, see you later. What are you going to do about it? But what we have right here is a good old-fashioned classic, classic 16-bit um, RPG dungeon. You know, it just reminds me of old Final Fantasy, old Breath of Fire kind of stuff. What's another example, guys? 16-bit stuff. What's another, uh... Ooh, look. Rats. Legend of Zelda Link to the Past type rats. Rats! Ugh. I'm going b back. Dude, hey, hey. Wish there was a Is there a run button? Oh, no. Yeah, this is where the, the booty is, man. See, the problem is the toadstools, they're pretty fast, and they keep chasing me. Oh, yeah, you don't... You don't want to pass up that stuff, dude. And I was about to say, enemy encounter rates. Highly frequent? Or not so much? Or normal? What do you think? And then... Ugh! See, wow, man. See, this is going to kick my ass real fast. What am I supposed to do about that? Mm. This is this is like, hold on, I want to stop wasting time. There's nothing here. What about the rat? 
I bet it... I thought it might be somewhat important, <clears throat> but I guess not. Do I even have any kind of life, uh... <sighs> mm -mm. No. Escape. What are these? Look up. Magic at McKen. I thought that would be, like, escape pipe. Like, short for that. Magic item that can use... Hina's? Hina's power? I don't know what the hell that means. What about skills? <laughs> yeah, well, he's more than that. Cannot use the special skill. So I looked through all of, uh... <clears throat> I looked through all of these. Yeah. I am gonna... Oh, that's a lot. That's frequent, man. I'm gonna retreat once and rest, and then... I gotta get through this. That's some tough stuff, dude. There it is. Okay, finally got it denied, didn't we? Oh, crap. You know what's funny? See, the people who are dead, they don't, they don't walk. They like, it looks really wrong. You see that? Look at that. They don't, their legs don't move. This game's a little, little poof. It's poof. And why are there no items here to buy? That's messed up. I, I would have to go all the way back through that cave, which leads me to believe. And I got some, I got some mista mista, man. I got, I got the cashola, which leads me to believe that this can't be too much of a trek through this place. Um, come on. What else can I do here? Why can't, why can't I look at my stuff? Man, I'm... Statuses... LNR of oh, Sega Genesis. LNR. Uh, <laughs> let's try and get through this, though, man. I I can. I, I could, but will I? We might have a death. Rats. Oh boy, now what? <laughs> I knew what I was doing up till this point. And how do I restore my TP? Put the antidotes. That's... What was that? Thought I took that off. Should I? Mm, I don't know. That's restore. I have no idea what TSU is.
All right. Um, <clears throat> can I not use... Who was it? Han or... Let me use the magic of... Restorative magic to heal up. No? Can't do that? Now we got skill tech. Man, I am... Uh, I'm not remembering. And I don't have a lot of these damn potions. I might be in some trouble. Here's what, and also it kind of sucks because I did. I wanted to kind of just. All right, let's let's just play some of this game and and not get like a, like bogged down with having the, you know, the what ex exactly what's happening to me right now. Mm. Fantastic. Yeah. See, that's all well and good, but it doesn't always go down that way. <clears throat> Not every time, man. Once again, that's fine. Ah. So, this is Allschlein. Okay, let's hurry and return to Zima and help those people out. Um... Do you think I can go along? My own town was destroyed by Zeo. I couldn't save my father or my mother. One way or another, I need to get my revenge. Hey, Grease. We're not necessarily making this journey for the purpose of defeating Zeo. But didn't that tall guy who was with you say something like that? Uh oh, that? He was just arbitrarily saying stuff. Oh, either way, I can't stay in this town forever. I'm coming along, even if you refuse to take me. Grease! Come on, Chaz. There's nothing wrong with that. Grease could be quite, uh... Grease could be quite a help, and after all, no one knows what's going to happen from here on out. That's for sure. Oh, great! Once again, good to be working with you. Uh, yeah, whatever. Let's get going. I don't like these two, uh, these two guys so far. It's, it's right there, the two in the middle. They just seem very boring and bland to me. But hey, that could totally be, uh, that could change. Now, is that an es escape pipe? Is that what that's short for? E S uh, C A, not K. I was almost going to say K. I don't know. Is that what that abbreviates? But then I, I um, checked it out and it said something about... There was a name and something about magic kind of a thing. Ooh, that's nasty. Let's just do an attack. Oh, another?! <sighs> Jesus Christ, I gotta get out of here. I gotta get out of here, man. Um, somehow the body has become lighter. Okay, okay, it is. There was a word there I didn't quite get, but whatever. Oh, yeah, go back. So here's the thing: because I'm such a because I'm such a completionist, um, you know, can be. I'm not totally insane, but. I want to go back in there and get get the items, you know? I mean... Ugh, then again... I don't know, man. <laughs> then again... Ugh. It was kind of, like, treacherous down there, man. You know what I mean? It is fun playing, uh... You know, just... An old, crazy game like this. Play something for fun. Play something unfamiliar. You know, sometimes it's okay to play something unfamiliar. I've never really played Fantasy Star 4. I was always so curious back in the, the old 90s days of playing the Fantasy Star series, you know? Um, yeah, I'm looking at that box art right there on my video. Fantasy Star 4, Genesis. Arr! You got the guy with the sword. Oh, man, what's going on? But, uh, I, I gotta tell you, as far as box art goes, actually, as far as my, um, tastes go, I don't really... That Genesis box cover, that box art cover right there, that doesn't actually, um... 
That doesn't really do it for me. Something like that would not take in uh, Kid Dave. Like, it kind of looks realistic, you know, in, in a way. You know, you, know, you know what I mean. It has kind of a realistic nature to it. Um, just, just like guys drawn in a real way. And to me, to be quite honest, I'm gonna be, I'm gonna be real with my opinion. It looks kind of bland and boring. I mean, you know. And uh, it's kind of a Sega Genesis style when I think of certain RPG games, and even like I think of Defenders of Oasis. That was that was an RPG on Game Gear, and I remember the the box art cover for that. I don't think I sought that game out to buy. I think I think my parents just picked it up, and it turned out to be like to me like a fun like hey, I like that game, you know. But sometimes, man, back in the day, especially, all we had were our Game Pro magazines, our Nintendo Power magazines, whatever. What was Sega's magazine? Oh crap. I didn't get it. Oh no, which way do we go? Did I not go left? But all we had were the magazines and if we got a game and we'll be like, alright, I'm gonna get this game. I have no idea. Alright, I like that game. I don't like that game. Or our friends. Hey, let's play this game. Dave, I got this game. Let's play it. Okay, what is it? Doesn't matter. We're ten! And then we played it, and it's like, hey, I like that. Hey, I hate that. That's all we had, man. We don't have, we didn't have walkthroughs, man. If 10-year-old Dave was living in a world where people were on this YouTube, on, on the, the YouTube, let's, you always put that the word, the, in front of it. Makes it sound so much cooler. That's what the cool people do when they talk about things. The YouTube, the Facebook, dummies. Um, yeah, we'll pick all this stuff up. Anyway, man, 10-year-old Dave, I don't know what he would do. First of all, 10-year-old Dave would have wanted to have gotten in on that action, too. Just the same as how old was I, man, when I started almost nine years ago from this posting date. We're coming up very close on nine, on, uh, nine years. Wow. February 8th. It's, uh, it's January. Is it January 8th, actually? Sorry. I have to... Wow, it is, as I'm uh, recording this, that is. It's January 8th. Um, yeah, a month, man, and, uh, it's nine years, but, you know, I mean, that's not that, sp nine, nine, ugh, yeah, whatever, eh, but ten, 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 that's, you know, ten, yeah, ugh. impressive, so, God is just, I gotta do something for ten years just because I, I, I've survived that long, especially with how YouTube's been. Come, dude. Um, I'm, I'm, I'm alive, though. I'm living. I'm living. Still on YouTube. I'm still making it, man. You know? Thanks to you guys. You know, you're there, man. And considering, considering everything, you know, I'm not, uh, I'm not going out of my way to make such elaborate, uh, feats and, and, um, investing such money into equipment and, well, you know, I had here and there, but it's been a while. Still got, you know, I'm, right now I'm using this really old piece of crap light. Uh, it's like bent. I wouldn't mind new lights. <laughs> but, uh, you know, hey, piece of recording software here, a nice microphone there. Some of it was generously gifted to me. Oh, and I, this is the part where you need to watch your ass, Dave, and stop just talk, talk, talk. He has good defenses. What was I just saying? Uh... Can we escape the battle? Oh. Well, at least he has... What the hell? Defenses, does this guy... Just run. That'll do. What do you guys think? Like, whatever. Let's just go. It's not like I'm gonna find the Excalibur sword in here that can do evil away forever. Um, do evil away forever. Yeah, let's just get out of here. We're done. We're done with this. We found what we needed, right? Um, it's funny. Oh. Oh. We got a what, titan crown? Titanium crown? 
So that's good. I think there's one more chest, isn't there? Oh, god damn, Dave. What are you doing? Wasn't there that one more, one more chest? No, no, no. I went, um... This is such a bad idea. <clears throat> this is going bad. Grizz. How would you pronounce his name? Grizz. Grizz. Grizz is better, huh? Oh, that. We, let's get that and get out of here. I think that's it, right? Where's an entrance? Because yeah, he's kind of like a bearish creature, sure. Like a grizzly bear. <clears throat> yeah, dude, it's those frog toad things. Oh, don't, don't do that to me. I'm gonna die. I knew it. Hey, but you know what? It's okay. I'm gonna call it a wrap right here. I'm gonna, it's okay. I'm gonna go pick up that item, that chest. I'll let you know what's in that chest because I'm sure it's a doozy. And uh, we're gonna start the next video like right outside that place. Um, I had a feeling that might happen, and what I here's what I want to know: When the hell am I gonna get like Phoenix Down Life Potion type items? Come on, man! Like I don't think I've missed anything, and that place didn't have any um, item stores, you know, weapon upgrade, armor weapon or, or, or armor upgrade stores. That place had nothing. You had to, like I said, you had to go back through the cave. The little cutscenes are cool. Very Sega Genesis-y. Uh, the Sega Genesis RPGs, from everything I can recall, is like, yeah, they, they kind of had that more anime feel to it. And, uh, well, I mean, yeah, they did a different approach. Square Soft had its stranglehold on the, Super, on the Nintendo and Super Nintendo, especially. You know, they, they had their style. It's their art! You know, and other companies made RPGs, too, of course. Yeah, what is it? What was it about the um, Super Nintendo that just said, Hey, I'm the SNES. All RPGs are welcome here. We're great for it. And they came. And they were great. Anyway, guys, I'm going to call it a wrap right here. If you enjoyed this video, please give it a thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe. Of course, leave me those comments. Tell me what you think. Like always, guys, you can follow me on social media, including my Patreon. The links are in the video description below. I'm Dave the Usher for the Game Replay. Stay tuned for the next part of Fantasy Star 4. See you guys next time. I am out.